Hey. hey. Thank you, Fang, for the raid of seven. Let's go. Shout and out thanks to Fang. Minus for the gift and sub to Ryan. Two, one, go. You're welcome. Oh yeah, true. This is a Jay Grunt is a member of the. Yes, the raid did go through Bonsoir Fang, and uh, not Bonsoir Monsieur. That is the that is the proper French. Uh, but Jay Grunt is a member of the of the Grunt Gang. So some homies coming through, and we've got ourselves a rapid start to this grand finals. I definitely don't expect these games to be as uh, slow tempoed as the ones with web are, that uh, web were in Losers. Thank you for the bits, Ninja, with the generosity pouring out of everybody. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Oh, this jump reads. Wolf plays out of shield so well. So it can make a lot more... Like just being able to have an out of shield game, first of all, is, uh, well, privilege. And it makes it makes a whole lot of pressure that much more, not only risky, but potentially fake. Because all of these jabs on shield that Jagrun is doing, like these potential like mix-up opportunities to re-jumps and re-rolls, like, you know... He just needs to up smash them, and suddenly a whole lot of your mix-up tree goes out the window, and you have to develop a new one. Shout us to Twitter, and specifically House of 3000 on Twitter, as that was a pretty solid punish on the Lechang. Yeah, it seems like Dax is a bit more of a... Uh, of an F tilt kind of punisher for ledge, trying to pressure it with the safest of the options as opposed to a down smash or down tilt, which you need to be a little bit closer for and have a definite window of uh, getting around it. It's... All right, I like that platform play. I just like Wolf. Wolf's just cool. He's a yeah, cool dude. He's cool, Sprucey. I think at that percent, he could have done uh, Falling Fair, Sour Bear into Wolf Lash, but yeah, I don't think it would have killed. I'm just liking the way they're navigating around the platform. It's, like, it's not just about the fact that you're getting these frame traps or getting these drag downs. It's also just the way they're full hopping over it, getting their Falling Aerials out, you know, just maintaining that stage. And it's like they're not letting each other come back. And whenever they do maintain center stage, that's for like a second. And then all of a sudden they're in the corner. They're always going in. Yeah, they're playing around each other. Not only around each other incredibly well, but they're utilizing the space that... They're using the range that each character can affect uh, instantaneously. Consider... And I hate to bring it up. Consider bubble theory, right? Shout out to h Um... Every character has a individual area of effect, and depending on attributes, that area of effect is wider or smaller. For Greninja's, it's a rather vertical area. For Wolf, it's much more horizontal. Is They're that, playing around both of these. Is that what the kids the... are calling burst range nowadays? Bubble theory? Uh, yeah, I guess uh, burst range is a better description <laughs> for it. I just that. That vocabulary completely went out my... Like, I, I knew that term. I knew it. And I just didn't associate it. <laughs> so excuse my... Excuse me being a little bit green. No, no. Bubble theory sounds more posh. Continue. <laughs> no. No, I'm not going to continue. <laughs> I want to hear about this. Let's hear it. It has many names. Um, you know, you can be in the, you could be in the council of Leffen is almighty and just call it spacing. You can call it burst range as most people have tended to do now that I have my memory uh, working. Or you can be like me and call it this rather, like, you know, say things like a posh git. Either way, all of them are important. And knowing your character's 
insert terminology here, is rather important. Which is what both of these players are playing around to wrap up that thought in the most inelegant way as possible. Because that should be death. Oh, he didn't kill him. That's fine. This is fair. He's looking for up tilt. He's not gonna play like he's looking for up tilt, but he's looking for up tilt. Like he's gonna try and make him jump first with with all these dash attacks, but he's he wants up tilt. F tilt ledge trap. Yep. Okay, he just dashed back. Yeah. It's a good burst option. You're good, but I am bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It, and he uses it quite liberally throughout throughout winners finals, throughout winner semis, even this first game. He's been using uh, He's been using dash attack as just this level, again, to go back to the previous like level system of not not overcomplicating your gameplay. He's forcing you to avoid. Uh, he's forcing you to avoid dash attack first. Yes. And he knows Wolf's frame data is good enough to like cover whiff on his dash attack. Ready. Thank you, Golden Berry, for the follow. One, go! go. So, yeah, it's, it's starting similar to Winner's Finals. And I am a little bit surprised that we didn't see the Incineroar at least, like, start, just to see how it would go. But I guess Incineroar is one of those characters that, like, is really good in best of threes as a counterpick, but a lot less good in best of fives. Especially since that's... Like, you know, Dax still won that winner's finals. He still adapted enough. True. I mean, I know the Incineroar took two games, so it's like... I don't know, I feel like at this point, if Big Run doesn't win this game, the Incineroar isn't a bad idea. No, not at all. It's all up to him. Right. Trying out characters for different situations is the name of the game when you have a 80-plus character roster. Or you play Pokemon Trainer and you have three characters for every situation. Or if you play Pokemon Honey Jack. Yeah, yeah, if you play the actual Pokemon game, that is also very true. true. <laughs> I guess. Sorry, wait, wait, I, 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 I mean playing the Pokemon fine. characters, sorry. I, I don't think I would agree, because, like, Pokemon exclusively Trainer is... Like the it's the three in one packages. There we go. You know. Oh, there's the substitute. Active hitboxes, baby. Yes, sir. Especially since like that wolf dash deck, amongst all of its incredible uh, utility, uh, it also does hit ledge. The late hitbox. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. The late hitbox. I think. The late hitbox. Yes. Or Lord running. Thank you for following. If there's any difference that I've noticed throughout uh, Jake Run, throughout his play in this winner in this loser's uh, run, is that uh, Jake Run plays a whole lot different when he has a lead. He plays a lot sh stronger, almost. Like he's not as worried about finding the kill. He's not rushing anything. If he has a lead, he feels a lot more content to utilize some of Greninja's better tools. These full hop aerials, uh, dashing back to punish uh, to punish over aggression which he knows is going to be coming a lot more than he would be if he's at a deficit. Uh, of course, Wolf has one of the best overshooting games, like, just period. Uh, his his uh, aerial acceleration is phenomenal, on top of having some really solid dish joints. And you're seeing that right here, he just jumps from mid-stage to platform, 
and is able to like immediately throw out a back here. Um, that said though, Dave Grant taking that stock there. Hey, you, okay, down smash. Doesn't usually do that. Tries to get a near grab, I think, but it doesn't connect. But it works out. He's, he's really content. Look at this. He's landing. When he lands with buttons, he makes sure he's either at a distance to be able to dash away, or he's landing with shield and letting Dax like, be frustrated in uh, Wolf's lack of kill throw. Like, back throw really only kills at ledge. Like, it's not going to kill from center stage anytime soon. So he's forced to utilize forward throw and down throw as... Like, and, and try and find a read. And while Wolf has plenty of raw kill power, it's not a, it's not enough if your opponent is playing very disciplined. Is that will? Okay, that still does it. It's like you had any punish, and you chose grab there. <laughs> substitute. All right, we're seeing a lot more substitutes this game. Nice, nice change. I don't know about down to the next There's some weird situations where when you tech on the platform during the up smash, you'll get the first hit of the up smash, but you won't get the second hit. It's really inconsistent. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. I'm... I'm actually not sure what caught what is the uh, what is the difference. I think I think the interaction between the hitbox and the hurtbox of the opponent kind of messes it up. And so when they're in that crouching position or in that tumble position, the up smash just fails to connect because it's more upward as opposed to horizontal. It's really odd. I keep watching Dax's Wolf, as we are here to do. We are here to watch the game. And yes. <laughs> I, like, just looking at this, and I wish we could have gone back a little bit further than this, because this is Grin getting his, uh, or Grunt getting his kill, chasing down with Bear. Hmm. But, what... It seems almost like Dax's fixation on dash attack and its utility and how good it is and everything that it gets him. I mean, it, it brought him it brought him back that game into spitting distance and it was almost a complete comeback towards the end. But he had earlier landed in that final stock, Soft Nair. And Soft Nair at kill percents puts you in a tech chase situation, which you can end if you get the, if you read the neutral tech, you can end in down smash. And down smash at ledge would have killed for sure. But yet he didn't go for it. He didn't go for the, he didn't go for the read of down smash. He instead waited, he waited for dash attack. He waited for grab, which are great tools at low and mid percents and even higher percents. But they aren't there are moves that aren't going to necessarily seal out stocks when you need them to. And letting a character like Greninja, who can like swarm you super well with all of his speed and all of his aggression, letting him live that much longer can just can throw you games. <laughs> Same time though, you know, dash attack to punish landings. Pretty good. Pretty good. Hmm. Alright, that was good. Baby. And he completes the edge guard. Okay. Grunt, uh, Jay Grunt being more confident in his edge guards is gonna potentially make this go not even just to a reset but can even swing entirely into jay grunt's favor if you're able to hit hitting wolf at the startup of his recovery is a whole lot more beneficial than at the end 
since you can risk like wolf flash trades and the absolute monster of a hitbox that is a fire wolf. But you don't have to worry about any of that as long as you hit him during startup. Beckert's in the mob. Oh, he's there. Harry's the one coming in. Tries to look for the punish. Not quite reaching it, though. They're jumping in each other's face, and it's... It's starting to It's like they're, they're jumping so much. Yeah, I'm so sorry, you were saying? No, no, I'm just... It's starting to swing a little bit more into Dax's favor, as long as Jay Grant can't close out this stock. Not trying to go too low, it seems. And punish for the That was a brilliant beer versus Shuriken. That was really well done. So he's getting a lot more confident in his edge guards. He's going to back here, he's going for Shuriken, and that's really going to benefit Jay Grinch here. If he keeps going for that, he's going to be able to seal out stocks before he dies himself. Greenwich is a little bit more on the lighter end. It's up to Dax to make the most of the chance he's uh, he's fought himself for. He he is down early. <laughs> if he just keeps bouncing between these platforms, then there's not much he can do. It's like ping pong, just one platform to the other. One player ping pong, like zipping in between both sides of the court. Or table. Alright, calls up the shield with a simple grab. Up smash? No, no, no. Looking for the neutral get up. Jake Run has been doing a really solid job, and part of that is because, you know, the ledge jump for Greninja is incredible. As there's another dash attack. But he's doing a great job of getting off of ledge, but all you need sometimes is is at any tech situation, and Wolf can punish you super hard for it. Yes. Thank you, Blue Blue, for the follow. Like tomahawk, spacey tomahawks are, or empty hops rather, are quite insane. I wonder if we're gonna see the insane. Yeah, I was about to just about to mention that. Do we see the counter pick? No, we don't. Ah. He's he's hopping right back into it. It's all good. Yeah, all of these games have been close to the point of uh, you don't need to worry about like, trying a counter pick when you've already won a game and every game of this set has been last stock. Like it's not you're not showing a, no need to fix what isn't broken. You just need to shore up some of your game plan. Like why replace a wall that has cracks when you can just fill in it, fill in the holes? That's not a really good analogy, but it works. There. We're in it. We're we're here for it anyway. <laughs> All right, not going for the for the tech situation. Tech chase situation. Just the double up air. Simple confirms to even up the percent count. Dax has two modes. He has full hop mode, and he has uh, like just like dash mode, like grounded mode. There is no in between. And that's you know, if full hop mode gets you stuff like that, thank you, Ka Kami Kala, for the follow. Everyone's coming out for Dax to potentially seal this game three, uh, this game four, seal out this grand finals, and take the lead, or take the win right now. And any character with the lead is automatically a whole lot more threatening just because of the, the, the less pressure you'll have. The wolf, especially with his transcendent laser and incredible damage output, is going to be dangerous. But all you need is a little bit of threat to make Wolf not be able to recover. He can't go can't go too far. It's not like Fox, uh, Firefox, which has an absurd range. Mm. 
double bear. I hate when that happens. There's a little blind spot in Wolf's four there, in between the claw, the purple claw animation and his actual hand. There's that. There's a little bit of a blind spot that just is really unfortunate. Ah. Uh, thank you, ultimate. Hitboxes and hitboxes. It's uh, it's a thing. Not that Wolf has any reason to complain with how incredible some of his hitboxes are. Have we mentioned back air this set? Cause oh boy, <laughs> that's a doozy. <laughs> oh, it just seems like they're all kind of just sticking to the same game plan. They're typically just intimidating each other with jumps, and then one of them either gets a tech chase or one of them just gets the link and it feels like every time Jaquin gets a link he does his typical like drag down upper into other hits whereas Dax kind of just goes for his typical like back air or air close setups but that one was unique used up tilt this time that's special that's good and, and it's it's a classic con you hit his shield but everyone jumps out of shield Greninja jumps out of shield like if there's a if I could verbalize italics like he jumps out of shield so up to is near it functions the same way as like snake up till banjo up to all of those shenanigans though definitely worse than the two of them but it still kills that's that's really what makes the difference at the end of the day yes yeah, certainly and right now we see jay on his last stock he get managed to get this kill perhaps through like a down tilt uh up smash Maybe he might be able to get a fair. He could end up making this comeback. Uh, we've seen him before. Uh, done very well in these, in these last stock scenarios. I have a, I have a feeling that Up Smash is going to take it. He's looking for it. <laughs> he gets the parry, but then dashes away. Interesting. Yeah, if there's any. Oh, he's dead. He doesn't have That was sneaky. Yeah. I like that reverse for sure. I think it looks sick. Yeah, Water Shuriken is... It's, it's one of those projectiles that it has uses throughout all of its charges, and the multi-hit properties that it gains on full charge is uh, unique, oddly enough. Classic F tilt. He's looking for, he's trying to scout, trying to scout a risky option coming out from uh, J Grunt that he can react to. F tilt. Oh, well, not, not yet. This is how it starts. Ooh, nice percent. And Wolf is is blessed with, well, not blessed, cursed with the spacey problem of. Sometimes you have to look for raw kill moves while Wolf has those in a plenty, and he can die at any percent from a proper edge guard. One minute and counting. Bring out those dash tops. Percents are starting to climb. Dash attacks are being thrown around. Like it's a little bit of nerves coming through. Wolf doesn't have the dash speed to keep up with Greninja. He has to try and bait something out, and that'll do it. Yeah, nice up there. Calling out the aggression. Once he saw that Jay Grunt had, had used his double jump and started to come down on him, that was ooh, start fast fall down. That was his time to strike. Yeah, he uh, he used his double jump and caught and caught it rather. He didn't use it. He didn't use it earlier. Either way, congratulations to Dax, Dax FX for the for the win for the three one victory and the ceiling of Xeno Wi-Fi number thirty seven grand finals. GGs, GGs to all. Thank you everybody for joining the bracket. Yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. It's a fun bracket. Uh, some really unexpected stuff. Dax, you know, got uh, seventh of the last two weeks uh, in a row, and then just 
Shot up to first. So let's go Dax. Good stuff. Let's go Dax, yeah. Yeah, really yeah, good stuff.